and welcome. Well, today we're going to talk about agents. Agents in Microsoft Security Copilot. We're also going to talk about Entry ID, Conditional Access, and the whole shebang together. So, an agent in Microsoft Security Copilot is an autonomous AI agent designed to handle high volume of security tasks. These agents are built on the Security Copilot platform and are seamlessly integrated with Microsoft Security Solutions. They are tailored to specific security task use cases that are adapting your workflows and learn from your feedback as well. Today, we're going to focus on conditional access optimization agent in Microsoft Entra, an agent created by Microsoft, fully integrated in Entra. It will uh, help you ensure that all users are protected by policies. It also recommends policies and changes based on best practices aligned with the zero trust architecture. In this preview, the agent evaluates policies requiring multi-factor authentication enforces device-based control, like device compliance or app protection policies, and can also block legacy authentication and device code flow. So the agent also evaluates all existing enabled policies to propose potential consolidation of similar policies. But there are some limitations within the preview as well. But let's dive into it. First of all, we're going to see how it handles in my uh, test environment. Second off, we're going to check uh, how easy it is to both remove the agent and also add the agent. So let's get started. All right, so we'll start here in the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So we'll see by the announcement that Security Copilot agents are here. You can click Learn More About Agents. That opens a Learn page, and you can read more about Security Copilot agents. You also have a button, Go to Agents, or we have the agents up in the left menu. So if you click on that, we have the Security Copilot agents that are in your environment. So uh, I have enabled uh, Conditional Access Optimization Agent right now. Uh, I will show a bit later in the movie now, uh, in the video here, I will just show you how to both remove the agent and also add it again. But for now, just hit the View Details. And here we get in an overview page. Uh, so we will see the overview of the conditional access uh, optimization agent that has been running in my environment. So it's if you don't go down here and look at the recent activities, we see that it runs every day. Uh, the first day it ran, uh, it had zero suggestions. Second day, two suggestions. Third, one suggestion, and so on. Uh, so it will when it finds new users that are not protected by any policies, or it uh, finds policies that are missing, and so on, it will uh, put it as a suggestion. And we'll see all of those in the recent suggestions box here. Uh, and as you see here, uh, four users are missing in the Intune app protection policy, add two users to existing policy of the MFA. We also see that we need to turn on a new block legacy authentication policy. So if we, if we jump into the suggestions here, we see all the suggestions here as well, and they are not applied. So you can review the suggestion to see what it actually is. Uh, for the turn on uh, new block legacy authentication or block device code flow, these uh, conditional access policies are actually created already within our setup. So they are created in a report only mode. And if we click turn on policy, it will go into on mode. We can uh, review them as well in the conditional access pane. So if I jump over to this, uh, this page here, we have the conditional access policies in my environment. And here we see block device code flow and block legacy authentication is created by the conditional access optimization agent. It's in report only mode, so I have not turned it on yet. But we also say, see here the alerts. So a new agent's suggestion for these two, but also for the existing one for the app protection and for the MFA all users. And if you click on those alerts as well, we get a nice window of the detail, the same that we saw in the suggestion box. Uh, and we see the policy impact as well. So it's quite a nice overview here. So let's ju jump back into the agent. <clears throat> we have the same here, policy impact. Uh, we also have the activity uh, 
activity page here where we can see all the suggestions and everything. And if you hit on view activity, we will get to drill down into the map of what it actually are doing when it's running the agent. So it starts the agent, checks for user drift, policy app, uh, app drifting and policy merging. So here we can see that it didn't find any similar policies to merge together. Uh, it has been scanning for applications and users and it will get, at the end of it, it will give uh, suggestions on how to fix this for you. So if you jump back again, we also have a setting page and in the setting page, we can of course turn off and on the agent. Uh, we can choose if it should trigger on new users the last 24 hours or new applications the last 24 hours. It's recommended to have both of them on. Also what you can do here, we can do a custom instruction as well. So if we see here, I have added a custom instruction saying that you should exclude uh, this enter ID group from all recommendations. So this is to break the glass accounts. So we don't get a suggestion of the, the break the glass account missing or anything. So you can just easily edit instruction. We see that it's quite easy to add an instruction as well. Just exclude users in and the name of the group and just hit save. And then it will uh, look up itself, find the grid and add it. So all scanning now will exclude users that are added to this group as well. To be able to have a look into this agent, you need security administrator or global administrator. These two roles are the ones that you need to create the agent as well. You can also, when it's created, you can also have conditional access admin role as well. As long as you have the conditional access admin role and access to security copilot with the same user, you'll be able to have a look in here. So that's basically the, the entire uh, agent page itself, quite easy to understand. Uh, if you want to re remove the agent, we can just hit remove agent and yes. So that will remove the entire agent. Uh, so we don't have an agent anymore. <clears throat> so this is how it looks if you have security copilot in your environment. So the prerequisite to having conditional access optimization agent is that you have either security administrator or global admin, as I said. Uh, you must have at least Microsoft Enter ID P1. Uh, if you wanna have device-based uh, control requirements, uh, you also need the Microsoft Intune license. But most important of it, you need to have security copilot uh, enabled in your tenant as well. So you need uh, security compute units on average, each agent runs, so every time the agent is running, it consumes less than one SCU. But you still need to have the SCU enabled in your tenant to be able to do this. But for uh, adding the agent, if you have an SCU on your uh, environment, you just uh, hit, hit the agent, hit view details, and from here, you get an, a, a small overview of what the agent is. Uh, the agent is in preview. And we can just hit start agent. So the agent will start up and do its first run. While it does that, there are some limitations during the preview uh, as this date of uh, 9th of May. So during the preview, we need to avoid using uh, accounts that requires uh, PIM. So it should be an active uh, assignment on the user that sets it up. I have always been using PIM when I've been setting it up, so it's been working for me. So I'm not sure if that's a real limitation, but yeah. So once the agent are started, they can't be stopped or paused. Uh, so, and also it may take a few minutes to run, meaning that we saw in the settings here, you can turn off the trigger, that actually doesn't work. So they, as long as you have the agent, it will run once a day. Uh, the agent currently runs as the user who enabled it. So every time these agents are running each day, it runs as me. And in the preview, you should only run the agent from a Microsoft Enter Admin Center. You shouldn't start it from the security call pilot because that, that's, it's possible, but uh, shouldn't do that. Let's see, the agent is up and running already. 
if we hit refresh now, I think it has been running as well. Yeah, we see it's, it has done its first uh, run, four suggestions. Create, uh, you need to create a new uh, policies as well. So everything's working fine. So that was a quick intro of uh, Conditional Access Optimization Agent. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button on it. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, you will then get notified whenever I create new videos and uh, upload it. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.